All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukhagadash, Dabrana, Sayyidah, Apostle, Great Mill, Stone, Tommy, Truth, and Rule Well, Peace, Blessing, Salutation, I come right there, better about the four corners of the earth, that's serving the truth and my true sincerity, to I say Shalom. It's about Nabala, come to another video in the spirit, and at the top of this video is going to be about how, when the day, when those bad days come, these people are going to remember what we said. And uh, the spark this video topic is, um, I was in, I was just out one day, you know, and I ran across somebody, you know, who um, I had a conversation with, um, I don't know how long ago, you know, we was, you know, talking about the truth, you know, and when they, when I ran into him, they said, the last time I talked to you, uh, we was talking about. He said that the, that the Hebrew is a light. That's what he said. You know, I just, and I just, you know, I just shook my head or whatever, you know. And he had said a couple more things and then the conversation migrated to something else. But it's, it's been, it's been probably about three plus years, I think, since, you know, we, you know, had that conversation. But, you know, I wasn't thinking that, you know, they were going to say that, but they did. So that just had me thinking, like, you know, everything we've said, you know, from, you know, you got brothers that been this thing longer, but people that, you know, you might still encounter or may run into or, you know, the countries we have held people, you know, we didn't, you know, told them about this truth, you know, especially people that have walked past us uh, prophesying. You know, when when those bad days come upon them, they're going to remember what we have said, okay? And that's why they're going to be what? They're going to be, they're going to be seeking. You know, they're going to be looking for us. You know, but we're not going to have nothing for you. But right now, this is how they treat us. This is Mark 6 and 4. It says, but Yahweh Shah is saying to them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country. And amongst his own kin and in his own house, yeah, a proper a prophet doesn't have honor in his own in his own uh in his own his own country, man. This is what this is not you know this is not our true, you know home, but saying you know we're we're amongst our people here, you know we're amongst Jake here, and you know we trying to tell Jake to get right, but you know Jake don't want to hearken to what we're saying. You know, they, you know, they, um, they give us, you know, they give us them looks, you know, they come up against us, you know, they, they scoff us, you know, they don't, they not taking heed to what we're saying, but that's okay because we're going to continue to do this work. You know, we out here fishing for the elect. We're not here trying to, um, save the whole house of Israel because we know the whole house of Israel can't be saved, you know, so three of our people have to die. But even, but everyone who has heard this, okay, when, when all hell's out here breaking loose, and the things that we said, they gonna start seeing them for themselves. And I'm like, damn, he was right. And, I started, and the scriptures talk about that. Because whether you wanna, you know, listen or not, we just doing what the Lord commanded us to do. Uh. Ezekiel 2, I'm going to start at verse 3. It says, And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. For they are impundent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are rebellious house, yet should they know that they have been a prophet among them. Yeah. So, the Lord told us that our uh, people are rebellious. Okay, they're stiff-hearted. Okay? That they, they won't listen. But whether they hear, whether they, whether they will or whether they not. Okay? We just doing what the Lord told us to do. It's, but... 
I can guarantee you, you know, especially, you know, when a, when a real day of destruction comes, okay, and the Lord brings that ultimate judgment upon people, you know, you know, while they, while they going through that torment, you know, the Lord can probably, you probably have, you know, they have a playback or why, why, why the uh, destruction is coming, have a playback and just be like, damn. That's why we doing what we doing. That's why we out here trying to give Jake, you know, trying to give Jake this truth. You know, the Lord is trying to give Jake a chance. It ain't really got nothing to do with us. We just doing what the Lord asks us to do. And then this is Ezekiel 33. I'm going to start at 31. It says, and they come unto thee as a people cometh and sit before thee as my people. And they hear thy word, but they will not do them. For with their mouth, they do so much love, but their heart... Go after their own covetousness. Yeah, so we have people that come up to the camp. You know, they'll listen. You know, they'll say Shalom or say Khan or they'll, they'll act like they not, you know, not in their head. You know, be like, oh, y'all the, y'all the prophets, you know? Or y'all the Hebrew Israelites, you know? And yeah, y'all keep going, you know, you know, showing love. But they they still not going to do what we saying. They still going to continue to live the life that they want to live. It says, and lo... Thou art to them a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. It says, And when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Yeah. So, you know, they walk past and like, oh, yeah, okay, all right, I hear what you're saying. You know, you know how Jake is. You know how Jake is. We're gonna continue to live their life, but then when when the when the little piece that whatever it was that they heard was it when what was it we talking about um uh how you know nations gonna be a nation the uh, the rumors of wars uh the MOTB uh Jacob trouble whatever little piece that they heard when they see that coming to pass they gonna be like oh this is what they was talking about I need to go back and. I need to go find them again. You're not going to be able to find them. Because the scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found. The Lord can be found now. What through his men. Out there on the highways and byways doing his work. So, if you're not taking that time now, then you're going to be through then. But I, I can guarantee you, gonna, they're going to remember. You know, even our family members. You know? You got family that, you know, oh, he part of that Hebrew Israelite thing. You know, they 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 not they not hearkening up to us, but when things start ramping up, your phone gonna be going crazy. And even some even some woman. Let me grab this. Is uh, Amos 8 and 11 says, Behold, the day is coming, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine and a land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Yeah. So there's going to be a famine. Okay. They're not going to be have access to this word. And they're going to be, what, like it says, running from, running, running to and fro. Running from sea to sea. They're going to be going all over looking for the prophets. When they realize that we are the, we was the true men. The, the men of GMS. Because you see what's going on with these other camps. I was watching a, a little bit of Apostle Kabar's video. I didn't finish it. But um, basically, he was, you know, hinting that um, I believe his name, Deacon Naka from Sakari, hinted that they might have, you know, they going through some troubles right now. You know, they might be, uh, you know, separating or, or whatever the case it may be. But you see what's going on with these other accounts, man. The scriptures say, like it says in Acts 5, is if this be works of many will come to naught. 
But be the work of the Lord, you cannot overthrow it. Okay? So we see who's being sustained in these times and we see who's 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 falling off. So all we gotta continue to do is do our part and the Lord's gonna take care of the rest. So just another warning for for, for Jake out here, man. Take heed while you got time. Don't be don't be one of those that be like, you know, that's that's in that mindset or that saying. Oh, he was him. I wish I would have hearkened. I wish I would have listened. Don't be like that. Take the time now to hearken. You know, get your chance. Get yourself a chance of salvation. So that's pretty much it. Lord, when this video is edifying, I'm gonna close out. Be giving our praise to Yahweh. Bashim Yahshai. Bashim Rakadash. Shalom.